This is the congestive heart failure core measure workflow. I will show you how the workflow is built in the workflow engine and what it looks like for the end user. There are a number of ways to start this workflow. One is to look for a patient's BNP, a lab value which indicates uh, CHF, congestive heart failure. If the value is greater than 100, the CHF workflow starts. The workflow also starts if the physician adds heart failure to the patient's problem list. Here you see how the physician would search for the SNOMED term for CHF and add it to the problem list, which activates this workflow. In heart failure, one of the key indicators is the ejection fraction, which is measured through an ultrasound. The system first checks it to see if there is a recent ejection fraction documented. If not, it will prompt the physician to order an ultrasound. This window is called an Enterprise Application Integration Step. This contains the definitions of the actions that will be presented to the physician or the nurse practitioner so that they can place the ultrasound order. See how the workflow builder can present the physician with multiple options. The physician will see this selection window and by clicking the arrow they place the order or at the bottom indicate that no ultrasound is needed for this patient. These options are then presented both to the physician and the nurse practitioner. Next, once the ejection fraction is determined, the workflow checks to see if the patient is on an ACE inhibitor or an ARB, an angiotensin receptor blocker, one of which would be indicated if the patient has a low ejection fraction. The workflow determines if an alert should be sent and will place an alert for the physician and the nurse practitioner to order the ACE or an ARB at discharge. Here's how that reminder would show to the physician. They can also, and this is a valid response for the core measure, indicate that the medica medication is contraindicated for this patient. The workflow also includes a checkpoint to verify that the physician acted on the alert. We're now at the end of the patient's stay and the physician placed the order to discharge the patient. Several notifications take place to start the process of discharge. To the quality reviewer, to the core measure nurse practitioner, and to the case manager. Each will complete their tasks related to this patient's discharge and for the documentation of the quality measures. Here the actual discharge is taking place which removes any remaining alerts from people's work lists and then ends this workflow.